A million girls but I give my heart to you The struggles I face you don't have a clue They say a lot of shit but I keep on defending you, you, you them say them see you and another man in our bands And if I still trust you, I don't have no sense They swear I'm not the only one sleeping with you, you, you we. The words will cut like knife, yo But I know, say, you know have nothing to hide, yo Come, come, son, go shame, 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 shame We not go be the same, 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 same Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as I promised, this tutorial is going to be completely in a British accent. I'm going to be doing the voiceover in a British accent, intro and outro. So without further ado, if you would like to see how I created this yellow look, please keep on watching. So I'm just going to start out by carving out the bottom of my brows and I'm going to use this Wet n Wild soft focused, sorry, photo focus concealer in the shade medium deep tan and then I'm going to fill in my entire lid with this concealer. I'm going to use this as a base for my eyeshadow. Using this Morphe 350 matte palette. I actually love this palette and I was very excited to use it in this tutorial. So I'm using that yellowish shade to start my transition off. Now I am moving, um, you know, in windshield wiper motions back and forth, um, right there in my crease. Then I'm going to move to this other shade in the Morphe 350 palette. Um, I'm building my transition now, so I'm taking a darker brownish shade. And I'm putting that in the same spot right over the first color. <laughs> then I'm going to get orangey. So I'm going to put that shade. I'm using the MAC 224 brush. I'm putting that right over those colors. I want it to be a yellow, orange, peachy transition shade. So that's why I chose those colors. To the west side, Kai Komi. All the girl girls say, Kai Komi. Then I'm going to use Laura Geller Gilded Honey as my brow bone highlight. I don't usually use this as a brow bone highlight, but I decided to use it in this tutorial and I think it looked pretty good. Nato. Then for my eyeshadow, for the for the lid, I'm going to use the Sasha eyeshadow adhesive and um, in the future I would not use this. Um, once you put this on, you have to set it right away. If you don't set it as soon as you put it on, then you're going to have a lot of issues with creasing and your shadow not blending and looking the way you want it to. Um, I have that issue. I did set it eventually even after I put the yellow on. I started to set it with a translucent powder So I would recommend that Then I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills artist palette and I'm using the shade fresh That's the yellow shade and I'm putting that all over my lid So as you can see I carved out my lid with a curve on the end now It's taken me some time to really get this properly um, so I would recommend practicing to get that curved shave on the end um, As I get better with it, I will be doing some more tutorials on how to you know better Step by step how you can achieve that look Then I'm gonna go in with this orange again and I decided I wanted to put some orange right on my crease line so I'm going in with a pencil brush from Sigma Honestly guys, this British accent is the hardest thing that I've, I have had to do. I don't even know if it sounds British. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but this is what I can do. I'm just going to dust off any fallout with that brush from Sigma. And then I'm going to fill in my brows. Now I do my brows in all different orders. Sometimes I do my brows first, sometimes I do it last. But I always use the Colourpop Black Brown Pencil, that's my favourite. 
and I do have a brow tutorial. I will link it in this video. I'm just cleaning up the top of my brows with some concealer. And now I'm doing this NYC black liner. At first I was using a Real Techniques brush, but that didn't work out quite well for the wing part. So I decided to change the brush. You're going to see that I, I took that off because it wasn't going well. And right, so I changed my brush to this Sigma brush and I was able to better create a wing. Now the NYC liner, the applicator is very flexible, so it's hard to get a very precise wing, so that's why I decided to use a brush. I'm just taking a makeup wipe and I'm going to clean off the bottom of my eyeshadow. Usually I don't do this because I've already put on my moisturizer and my primer but I needed to clean that up so I decided to use the wipe and I also wanted to fix my wing so that really helped me to do that. <laughs> Last giddy on my niggas, cook by giddy, cook by giddy, where we making rubber, rubber, rubber. Shout out to my brother, son by yes, I don't. I'm all over the place in this tutorial. I'm just putting this clear brow, brow gel to set my brows. Then I'm going to move on to some mascara. I'm using this Makeup Forever mascara. I really like this one. And then I'm going to put my lashes on. The lash tutorial will be coming. Let's just wait on it. <laughs> I'm using Monroe by Lena Lashes. These lashes are pretty tricky. I have to be careful when I use them because one side goes up and one side goes down. So I have to be really careful when I use these lashes so that they look even. And I want to open my eyes up so I'm going to use the NYX Wide Eyeliner Pencil just on my bottom waterline. And just to connect that eyeliner, I'm using this Milani liquid pencil. For foundation, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Pecan. And I haven't used this foundation in a while, so I decided to use it in this tutorial. As you know, I love the Revlon Colorstay. That's what I've been using a lot these days. But I was like, let me just go back to my old faithful Estee Lauder. And I'm actually using a makeup sponge. This is just like my updated foundation routine. So for highlighting, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Dark Cocoa. And I'm going to put them under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend that out and this beauty blender wasn't as damp as I wanted it to be so it was giving me quite some trouble to blend out but eventually I was able to do it um, I really was lazy I didn't want to go to the sink and wet it again because I used water to wet my 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 sponge but I was lazy so I didn't get up to do it so it took me more time to blend this out but eventually I got it done. So I'm going to be contouring with the ABH cream contour kit. Now my friend Danny did my makeup the other day and she did my contour much higher than I usually do. So I decided to try it today and I actually liked it. Um, the one con about this palette is that it's very hard to blend out. This is the first version of this uh, palette. I think Anastasia has reformulated it now, but that that cream contour that's on my forehead took me forever to blend out. To brighten my under eyes and set my highlight, I'm going to use this translucent powder by Ben Nye. 
So everywhere where I put concealer, I'm going to put that. Also going to do a little reverse highlight. And my O Faithful, you already know, this is the only thing that I use to contour. So I'm going to use that powder everywhere I put the contour shapes. Yeah, my forehead was just, I didn't really like how it was looking. So I went back many times and blended it out with a beauty blender. Um, but to move on to blush, I'm going to use the Sasha Blush in Burnt Orange. Giving myself a little clean up right there. Back to blush. Blusher, as the British call it. Then to the highlight, I didn't want something that was too, too bold. So I used the Lorac Tantalizer Big Bronzer today. This is actually one of my very favorite highlights. Um, it's, it's not, it's like a good combination between subtle and beaming. I'm also going to hit my cupid's bow but sometimes that doesn't even stay once I line my lips I don't even know why I do it to set my entire face I'm going to use this Iman blotting powder in deep I love this stuff very good for oily skin For my lips, I'm going to use this NYX lip pencil in Nutmeg and I'm going to line my lips with that all the way around. It was looking a bit too orange for my liking so I decided to add another lip pencil and this is in Espresso by NYX as well and I'm just darkening up my lip line. Then I'm going in with this Ruby Kisses Lip Lacquer in Intense Yellow and I love, love, love this. It's a gloss and it's beautiful. I mean, it complemented the, well, the look so well. Now I'm just going to put some mascara, the same Urban Decay one. Actually, it's not Urban Decay, Makeup Forever, my bad. Thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it with my British accent. The British accent was kind of hard to um, do the voiceover, but I think I did pretty well. Let me know if you would like to hear any other um, accents from me. I think I can do a Bayesian accent and I could probably do like a stronger Tobago accent. Um, yeah, if you didn't like it, just let me know and I'll go back to my regular accent for sure. But thank you so much for watching. I was very much inspired by Alyssa Ashley right here on YouTube. I will link her channel in the description box below. Don't forget, you can follow me on my social media platforms and that is le.beat on Instagram and on Snapchat and the Beat Inc on Twitter and Facebook. Let me know if there are any other looks that you would like to see from me. And definitely in my next video, I will be back to my Trinidad accent, uh, my Trinidad slash American accent. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. All right. Give us some money, no be problem. Honest on the block. All right, I'm back again.